guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. You guys, before I even start with the video, there's a giveaway going on right now, you guys. I, in Monday's video, I shared with you guys the ColourPop Zodiac Pigment Collection. I swatched it, I reviewed it, I did a makeup look with it, and I also started a giveaway, you guys. A giveaway that's only going to be open for one week. So this coming Monday, it's closed. If you definitely want to enter, I'll put the link to enter down below in the description box. You just have to be a subscriber of mine. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, you hit that notification bell so you can be notified, and you hit that link below. It's going to verify that you're subscribed and it's gonna enter you in. You can also, it's also gonna give you lots of options to enter in so many extra ways. So you, there's a daily entry, there's like if you share my tweet, you get entered in an extra entry. And some of the entries even have two or three entry value. I, I just went a little crazy and gave you guys so many options of just to enter so many different ways so you can have a higher chance of winning. And then I'm gonna pick somebody at complete random. Uh, so make sure that you enter, make sure you enter right now. This, Second, just pause it and go enter. Okay, so today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys favorites. These are just recent favorites from January and the beginning of February. Things I've really been loving and that have been working amazing and things that I've been loving like the entire foundation and concealer week I did and kind of what I've been using throughout that time and how I've been testing everything out and kind of just a bunch of favorites. I have a lot of skincare. I have some hair, hair like a hair tool and, um, a hair product as well and then I do have some makeup favorites so this is gonna be a long video grab some popcorn sit down relax chill put your feet up get your little comfy blankie it literally snowed a ton yesterday so we have snow all over and I'm so cold I'm like putting on the fireplace have my comfy blankie anyway so excuse the fact that like I literally barely did my makeup I'm not gonna lie let's curl these babies cuz you can't even see my lashes Yeah, you can't even see my lashes because I literally wasn't, like I've been so busy, I haven't been able to film. Uh, so today I said, okay, if I have a chance, I'm gonna film. So this is like me, not hair done, just going with the messy, messy, messy hair look, simple makeup. Okay, let's start with skincare. So the first thing I do in my skincare routine, and the first thing I wanna share with you guys is this. This is the Volition uh, Apple Cider Vinegar Resurfacing Peel Pads. So there's a box of a bunch of packets like this, and they each contain one peel pad in there. So this is what it says it's supposed to do. It's supposed to improve skin texture, help promote cell renewal, tones complexion, purifies clogged pores, and adds radiance to your skin. It does smell like apple cider vinegar. I just want to let you know, just so that you know. Okay, this is the one I used this morning. I kind of let it dry out so I could show you guys. So it basically is a little pad like that. You stick your finger in there and you kind of just go to town on your face. When I started using this, I started using this after I took off all my makeup and cleansed my face. I would go in with this before toner. But now my favorite way to do this is in the morning, bright and early, the first thing I do, instead of cleansing my face, I go in with this because this is supposed to gently exfoliate your skin. So you can kind of use this instead of your daily exfoliator. So that's what I've been doing in the morning. I go in with this first thing in the morning and then I go in straight into tone and I have been loving it. I've actually been noticing after the first week a difference in my skin. It just looks smoother, like it looks so smooth. And you guys know if you're you're been a long time subscriber I get dark spots when I have breakouts like bruising and just like dark spots really easy and this has definitely been helping with that like I did notice that right away but on top of using this I have also been using this this is the Oli Henriksen uh, dark spot toner and I've been using this for a while now and it really like this two combined is just magic I have, it's been like a month now and my dark spots are almost completely gone. They're almost completely gone, you guys. And I had them all right here, really intense and like right here. And now like a medium coverage foundation can cover those dark spots. Like it's really fading them. And I'm so excited to just be able to wear bare skin again without those putting concealer there. Like I don't have to have the dark spots everywhere. I'm really excited. And I recently saw a video where, um, who was it? it was a 
popular beauty YouTuber. Well, she was talking about that she loves this and she will actually, after she tones her entire face, um, like break apart a cotton ball and put some of this toner on a cotton ball and kind of place it in her dark spots and just kind of let it sit for a second or a couple seconds or a couple minutes. So I've been doing that as well and I have noticed such a difference, you guys. I'm telling you, my dark spots are going away. If you have that problem like I do, if you're Latina or you just get dark spots or whatever like try that this is so freaking good so i've been using those two right away after i'm done toning this is what i have been doing i recently got this i don't know if it was like a sample or if i got it a boxy charm this is the tart drink of each tart rainforest by the sea drink of h2o hydrating boost so i'll go in straight with this all over the face this is the first thing i put on after toner to really kind of help lock in that toner give me hydration so i put this on and i have been loving it it's so thin and so smooth definitely not something to wear or to use by itself but something to kind of add to your skincare regimen is really really nice i have really been liking it then after I use this, I've been using this. This is the Volition Snow Mushroom Water Serum. I don't know if I've shared this before. I have like the whole Volition line and I really like this. When I first tried this, I just tried it on my bare skin after cleansing and toning and it kind of made my skin feel really sticky. I didn't like it. If you're going to do that, you want just the slightest amount. But lately, I have been using this after I use this H2O thing or after um, I use like a, I have the Volition, what's it called? It's like a anti-aging, uh, anti-aging, like really thin serum. After I use that, I will go in with this. And whenever I do that, I can put literally like a drop on each like on my forehead, on each cheek, and just go to town. And this will lock everything into place. It will just make my skin feel so plump so soft it does not feel sticky whatsoever when I put it on top of all those other serums it just kind of it just is a match made in heaven with those other serums it's like they're meant to be together and it just I love it so much so I would definitely recommend putting this after you put some of your light serums on your face going in with this would be really really nice so I've just really 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 been loving that okay also, you guys, I kind of alternate moisturizers, but after I've done all my serums, my oils, whatever it is that I'm doing, I've been using this. This is the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polyptide Cream. This is what I've been using every like other day as kind of like my last step, my moisturizer, and I really love this. This leaves my skin really, really soft. Um, it's, it's really nice, and it's supposed to, what is this supposed to do? It's a protein moisturizer. Oh, it's a protein moisturizer. I didn't know that. Um, it helps your appearance of skin, to your skin tone, your texture, and fir firmness. Morning and night to clean dry skin. Oh, I have never tried it like by itself right after toner for it to give my skin that protein. I've never tried that, but I have, I have been liking it on top of all of my serums. I think it's really nice. It doesn't really have a smell and I have this is the first product I've ever tried from Drunk Elephant. I've been wanting to kind of dip into their skincare. Uh, if you've tried anything from Drunk Elephant, let me know down below what you guys think. What should I try from them other than this? I've been really loving that. I thought I would give that a little mention. I'm gonna try that by itself to give like my skin a little protein boost to see what happens. Maybe something will happen. Okay, let's move on to hair. You guys have been commenting and commenting and I really love it like whenever my hair is curly I was gonna do it today but I didn't have time whenever I have my hair curly and then it's just like flopped over and there's just a lot of curls a lot some of that is my natural curl but I don't just go in just with my natural curl I have been using this to curl any parts that wouldn't curl or um, I just use this all the time this curling iron so this is the the Asavia um, curling wand so this one comes with three different barrels and this is the smallest barrel on there i'll link it below you guys um and it is so good i love this so much everything's like faded off of it and it's just like that that rose gold barrel and it's just so 
so great and this heats up so fast it cools down so fast and it's just such a good like this barrel where it's kind of like tapered is the perfect to give me those curls that you guys always see and you guys always say you really love it this is what I do to get those curls and I love this entire like little kit I've done a whole video on it before I'll try to link that up in an i card and I just really really love it and I just want to let you guys know this is what's been going on with my hair I've been I've been doing that and I've been loving it and not to mention that I've also been doing the I've also been using the Briagio Rosarco milk it's a repair and leave-in conditioning spray it has no sulfates no silicones no parabens I've been using this at night before I go to bed or in the morning I'll spray this all over my my hair and I'm in love this makes my hair so soft it's so nice and I notice a difference my hair isn't so crazy it looks a little bit <clears throat> looks a little bit healthier and I just really been loving this Briagio and I actually been trying I tried another one of their sprays is over there I forgot to grab that and also uh, their scalp treatment I've been doing that and oh, I love that so much my husband put it away in his gym bag so I can't grab it to share it I'll share it with you guys next month but uh, Briagio is a really really good hair brand if you guys are wondering I really love that okay let's go into makeup I have a lot of makeup this video is a million years old I'm sorry let's get into it First off, we just finished concealer week. Concealers I have literally not put down are the e.l.f. Camel concealers, and I know there's not a lot of like color selections. I hope that they expand that, but this is a bomb concealer, and sometimes I won't even set this. This is like my ride or die. If I don't have any time, I just will take this with me in the car. I will kind of spot conceal, push it in, it'll set into place, and I'll be good, and I don't have to worry about it. Also this, the Joa Truly Yours Concealer is so freaking good. And I don't know how much is in here left, but I have been using like crazy. I use this underneath my eyes today and I love this. The texture, the smoothness, the color. This is the shade Natural Ivory and I love this so much. I love it so much. It has a sponge and it's just, oh, it's so good you guys. You need to try this, it's so good. These two primers are literally my go-to primers these past month and a half. The Revolution Baking Oil, I've talked about this before, it just works so good with so many foundations. You can get this on Ulta's website. If you guys have dry skin, you should have this. You should have this. It is so amazing, so, feels so nice and plump on the skin and it just, it just works so well with foundations. So I've been loving this one. And also this Cover Effects Dewy Skin Primer. This is so interesting and I think I found a dupe for this, but this is so interesting and it just, it's so hydrating. It kind of feels like a silicone and an oil mixed, but this does not have any oil in it. It says it's loaded with hyaluronic acid um, and it helps to hydrate your skin and leave your skin looking dewy. Um, it has no mineral oils, no parabens, no glutens, no fragrances, no talc, no sulfates, no sulfates. Uh, it's really, really good. I am so impressed with Cover FX. This is a really good primer, you guys. If you have dry skin, if you find that your matte foundations just don't look as good, try it with this. This is a really amazing primer. Just leaves your skin literally feeling like silk, like silky smooth softness. Like I will t t touch my face. It just feels so good. Foundations. Uh, foundation week was crazy and I love all the foundations and I've been trying a lot of the foundations and I've been using them over and over and really trying to alternate with those foundations but these two foundations are my babies okay we got the hard candy Cl glamouflage full coverage uh, foundation this one's amazing in olive I love this this is my go-to when I want like a full coverage like waterproof anything like that this is like my go-to it lasts all day and it's only six dollars and this one this wet and wild uh photo focus foundation you guys this is so skin like and so beautiful and this can actually cover my dark spots i will build up in that spot and just kind of blend it out blend out the edges and it will give me that coverage so this is really really nice these two 5.99 six bucks my favorites for sure. I've been absolutely loving them and wearing them and wearing them and wearing them and wearing them. I've been loving them. I'm not wearing it today because I did want to let you guys know. You guys have, I have gotten a lot, a lot of questions about the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. I actually have a whole first impressions on this. I don't remember what I thought about it, 
but uh, I love this. I love this. I recently got, not recently, like a couple months ago, I discovered that they actually expanded their range on the Catrice website. So I have natural beige, which is the one I have on today. I mix that with a little bit of sand beige. 030 just to lighten it a tiny bit because I'm super super light right now um, but natural beige will just fit me really really good this is definitely I think my the best match for my skin and I love this so much you guys if you're wondering what I think about it do I love it I love it I have dry skin I even have some dry patches and I feel like it looks really 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 good I have dry skin and I really love it. I feel like it just sinks straight into the skin. That's what I'm wearing today and it looks so flawless and I didn't set it today at all. You don't, if you have dry skin, you don't need to set it. So I really love this and I just want to let you guys know because I have had a lot of questions recently about this foundation. Okay, powders. I have been loving. First off, the Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder. This smells so delicious and it looks so good on the skin, so smooth. If you have dry skin, this is a really good loose powder and you get so much product. This you get 35 grams. Um, in the Wet n Wild Loose Setting Powder, you get point, oh, sorry, 20 grams. And in, in this ColourPop one, you get 8.5 grams so you get a lot of product in this peach perfect uh mattifying loose setting powder and i don't find that it's super super matte i don't think that it's really really super matte i think it looks really beautiful and a light dusting all over the face will set your makeup and especially underneath the eyes it doesn't make my under eyes look dry i just i love this powder it smells good it uh just really sets my makeup without making me look dry i just really love it Okay, also, highlighter, you guys, you have been asking me about certain, there's like certain videos where you guys will ask me what my highlighter is, and I kind of laugh because, I don't know, I didn't think anyone would really like these. Like, I like these, but they're very, like, toned down and just look, like, wet, but not, like, too much. This is the Galactic uh, Skin Glow in Moonlight. It has, it has a... It has like a blush side and a highlight side. I use this today and actually I use both of these. The highlight just on right here like on my cheek, like on my apples my cheek and then the highlight one like on my highlight like bone and my highlight bone, my whatever. I can't speak today you guys. I've been cutting this video like crazy because I cannot speak. Basically on my nose, like everywhere, I've been using this, this lighter one, and I actually put this on underneath my foundation. I put this on first before I went in with the Catrice HD foundation, and it's like popping through, and it looks so beautiful. I love this. It gives me that wet look, um, and it's just so beautiful and so nice. One of my different, one of my favorites for sure. Also, Surprisingly, every time that I wear this, you guys always ask. This is the Laura Mercier uh, Translucent Loose Setting Powder in Glow. So it's supposed to be a setting powder, but I think that what they mean is a highlight, a loose highlight. And this gives you a natural glow from within type of look. If you don't want to look like you're wearing highlight, but you want to have a poppin' beautiful glow on your cheeks, this is what you need. This is so amazing, so beautiful, looks so natural. And I'm not going to lie, you guys always, every time I wear this, it's so funny because I would never think, this is like what I wear whenever I don't want to think about it. And I just want something kind of natural. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's that one. And it just, it really does look so nice. And then here's, here is the Girlactic one. That one looks more wet. It's just, it's really, really good. Both of these highlights are really amazing. And I have been using them like crazy, like absolute craziness. Almost done, okay? Got two lippies and an eyeshadow palette. So first off, I got this Tarte Rainforest by the Sea Volume 3 eyeshadow palette in last month's BoxyCharm, and I love it. I love all the shimmers. They're really glowy, really shiny, and all month long when I'm not filming, I've been doing a very natural eye, kind of like this, where I just light, lightly dust a color on there, and then maybe I'll pop, like today I popped this one kind of in the inner corners and on the very center of the lid to give me that glow, that shine, and all of these are just gorgeous. They're so delicious, and they have like a softness 
and an incredible like glow to them they just are brightening and they're just they're amazing they're really good so this is nice to kind of like pair up with any of my other looks i'm glad i have this you can't use it alone unless you kind of dust it everywhere kind of like i do but if you this isn't one you just want by itself because if you want to have any kind of like eye any kind of glam look you're going to need some mattes these are all glowy shimmery shadows but this is great to pair up with any of your other palettes i just really love it i think this is really good and um, nobody ever talks about these tarte rainforest by the sea palettes but they're actually really good okay last are these two lippies which have literally been rocking since december so this is the tartis lip paint in strike gold it's what i have on on top of my liquid katsu in peach nudist peach. this is a gloss with just some glitter in there and glow with like a peachy base and it's just literally i like to pop this all over the lips i will use this when i have no lipstick on i'll just pop this on and i just i can't believe i love it so much it smells like cupcakes and I'm just impressed. I didn't think I was going to love this. When I got this in a boxy charm, I don't even know when, I didn't think I was gonna like it, but I use it all the time. It's so freaking crazy. And then this one too, the Twinkling Lights, Cathing Lights, and ColourPop, and Etoile. It's like a, it's, it's a metallic, but it's so beautiful. It's like the perfect shade that makes it still wearable. I actually put this on on the lower lip underneath the glitter one. Um, and it kind of it kind of just gives you a little bit of a shine that's kind of what I use this for I don't use it all over the lips very often and if I do I kind of really sheer it out with my finger and it looks really really gorgeous that way you guys if you've never like if you feel like a lipstick is too much use your finger kind of blend it into the skin sheer it out and you're gonna see how much you love it I just I really love this so that's it those are all of the favorites i really wanted to share with you guys thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to enter the giveaway you guys i am so excited to give that away i'm also on monday on my instagram stories i'm going to announce the winner and um i'm also going to show you guys the whole package of like what i'm giving away i, I love you guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye guys